In health news tonight, the latest studies on Alzheimer's disease now diagnosed at an alarming rate as baby boomers grow older. And there's a lot of new information out there on Alzheimer's right now. News 8's medical reporter Jocelyn Mementa live in our New Haven newsroom with more on what experts are saying about these most recent reports. Jocelyn? And Keith, with more than 5 million living with Alzheimer's in the U.S., more of us are affected. We either know someone or have a loved one diagnosed with Alzheimer's. That's why the research is followed so closely by patients and their families. Every 67 seconds, someone in the U.S. develops Alzheimer's, the devastating disease which robs people of precious memories. There is no cure, but recent studies released by the Alzheimer's Association appear promising when it comes to early detection. Among them, a smell test, linking an increased risk with not being able to identify certain odors. Dr. Gerard Karens of the Adler Center at Yale New Haven Hospital, who specializes in Alzheimer's, says it's exciting research, but it's still too early. However, they're not 100% sensitive or specific, so you might have deficits from other reasons, um, and it might not be the case that everybody who identifies all the smells are immune from getting Alzheimer's or memory loss. Other studies focused on eye tests, detecting Alzheimer's brain plaques in the retina and lenses of the eyes, using advanced imaging technology and a new laser scanning system. This is technically a little more difficult, but once again, the preliminary results seem to be very encouraging and positive that we can now pick up this disease earlier as these types of tools and testings mature. And there's more evidence that lifestyle interventions may improve memory and thinking. So it's been shown that people that volunteer or people that involve with groups and friends, keeping their mind active and keeping their physical activity at a certain level will also have a better chance of reducing the risk of developing memory loss. Caregiver Maria Tomasetti monitors the latest on Alzheimer's. It can give us hope. And she cares for her 89-year-old father. So we try to keep his diet as healthy as possible, um, still keep him um, active, he still likes to walk. Something Maria says her father maintained before his diagnosis 11 years ago. His mother actually had dementia at a much younger age, so I have no scientific proof, but it um, certainly helps me to think that perhaps his lifestyle changes um, perhaps to help delay the onset of his um, dementia. 